Hey there, welcome to this week's video blog. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to properly prune a yew. Uh, there's two different ways to prune a yew, um, or really any plant. There's selective and non-selective. Uh, what we like to do here at the Garden Continuum is selectively prune all the yews we do. Um, for one, for aesthetics, but also for the health of the plant. You'll notice sometimes when you shear a yew, there's no growth on the inside, but as you can see here, it's very healthy on the inside, and that's what you want to look for. Um, that's a sign of a healthy plant. And so, um, how to go about selectively pruning a yew is, um, if you take a step back, you can kind of see where you want it to be, and you want to take these feathers off, basically. Uh, but what you want to avoid is just tipping it back. Um, sometimes you, can you can't avoid it, but if you can, you want to go down into the yew and take it there. Um, it makes it look a lot better instead of just having a bunch of these little white faces just like that staring back at you. Um, and that will even still make it look like it's sheared sometimes. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start pruning this and uh, we'll catch up with you a little ways through. So we spent about a half hour on these yews so far and you can see what we're trying to accomplish. We've brought the plant down and tightened it up a little bit, got a little bit more under control. Uh, and if you also notice, what you want to focus on with yews, sometimes they'll start to lean and shade the bottoms out. So we kind of made it an A shape. And you can see where I've stopped, right here. It's leaning forwards, and so you have no growth down here. So what we want to do is what we did here, is take it back in so the lower end of the plant can get some sun and it can grow. Uh, we'll check back in with you in about 30 minutes and see the finished product. So here's the finished product. Uh, it takes a little bit of time doing it by hand. It can be a little bit meticulous, but it's really worth the effort because it comes out looking very good. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them for us. And for all of us here at the Garden Continuum, thanks for watching.